Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's David here from Dave's Reef. I think that's what I'm going to call myself anyway. I don't really know. Uh, this is the first day. No. Well, this is the second day of this tank. Well, this is the first video you're going to see uploaded. Because, um, yeah, I got the tank in on Monday. It's Wednesday today. Took all of Monday night into Tuesday morning to set it up. And get all the water in and everything so it's been about just over 24 hours the water's been in there and moving about it was really murky today but it's cleared up quite a lot um, what did I want to speak about well but yeah basically the reason why I'm going to start doing this uh, what should we call this hmm uh, well yeah it's got an update the reason why I'm going to be doing this update is because I want to see how the tank progresses every week or every couple of days or whatever, whatever I decide to do it. Um, yeah, I'd like to see how it progresses, so I might as well make a YouTube series out of it, because then I can just go back and watch it. And if anybody else enjoys it, they get to watch it as well. Um, yeah, so I bought this tank on, yeah, Monday. It was priced for 450 but I got it down to 420 praise it. Um, so I saved myself 30 quid. Uh, what do I want to show you first? Well, I got two hundred uh, pounds, uh, English pounds, sorry, of uh, live rock. Uh, I didn't even realise that that rock just there looked like a skull until I sent a picture to my mum, and she sent me a text back, and I was like, oh, "That's pretty weird." Um, got the SW4 J cod. Uh, wave maker with the controller just there. Just currently learning all about how to use it. Uh, got the Aqua One. Don't really know anything about it. Uh, Mary Glow 60. Blue and whites, but the blue gets washed out. Oh, wrong one. Blue gets washed out a little bit. I'm gonna turn that off, and then it all goes purple. And yeah, so I'll just do it like that for videos. Um, there's, oh, there's the old power head. The temperature I got it at 29 degrees currently. And that is that, this thing right here is the worst purchase of the whole tank. The oh, it's obviously too small. I thought it was going to be perfect, but like the magnet's just not strong enough, and it blows away every, whatever it feels like it. So yeah, um, I've got this tank right next to my bed, so I oh, should have, probably should have sorted the pillow out before I did this, but never mind. Alright, so, uh, uh, when I wake up in the morning, that will be my view, well I need to sort that power head out, but, um, just here, along here, I'd like to get a um, Monty Pora, so that will be coming out around the edge, give it a bit of a shelf, thinking of maybe the green or the red one just there. And then this shelf that I've made just here have the, uh, the either other coloured uh, Monty Pora, either a green or a red one. But I have one of them there and one of them just there. I'd like to get a bird's nest, uh, torch coral, frog spawn, uh, um, pulsing zenia as well. But only a little bit there because I've heard that it does take over your tank. This is my first ever proper reef. I did have one marine tank before this, but let's not really speak about that. Because uh, that, that, yeah, let's just leave it that. Um, yeah, for £420, I'll tell you what it included. This tank, the stand, the light, uh, all the piping goes down into the sump. The sump was included as well. I do, you're going to see my budget and patch it job here. Trust me, this isn't going to last. It's just for the time being. Here's the sump. Uh, that protein skimmer came with it, and so did the return pump, which just over there. Um, the only thing that didn't come with it was this bit of piping. I actually nicked that off the, off the pond and did it a thorough clean. Got a bag of activated carbon just there. This is where our fusion is going to be, but the water flow is quite strong and it's been pushing all the sand back so I reckon I'm going to have to remove all the sand and 
maybe give American Rod a go, depending if that can withstand the flow that this is putting through. But I'm just feeling about just getting, I'm building my own sump because I don't really like how this one is. Because uh, um, the protein skim, I don't know if it's got a problem with it, I don't really know much about it. I've had a fish tank for so long, about like four years. I've, had a fish, I've never had a sump before. But um, this protein skim, like all the, the micro bubbles are leaving it and coming out through here, down here, into the refugium, going through the refugium, out for there, and into the return pump and going back into the main tank. And so that's why I've got four ordinary sponges cut lines through the middle of them and stuck them on the edge to um, trap any micro bubbles that come out of this. And to be fair, it's done an alright job. Like they are clean, of course. They're they're brand new. They haven't been used for anything. Uh, this is this isn't a permanent thing. This is just something that I wanted to try out to see if it worked. And to be fair, it did do quite a good job. So I'm gonna have the protein skin one for maybe a couple of rounds a day, just so it does something. Um, but yeah, possibly get a uh, new protein skimmer. Uh, I've got that light this morning. Came through the post, so I could start growing my. Um, to Morpha, which I'll get soon. Uh, a little bit of rive lock, in, a little rive lock, a little bit of rive lock in there. Uh, gonna get a couple of more bits. Um, so there's that. Yeah, there's the pizza. I mixed my salt water up uh, yesterday. First time I've ever done it, and uh, it went really well. To be honest with you, I've got a salinity of. I think it's 32 parts per million. 1.024, I think, is my thing with Bob. I don't even know what it's called. Yeah. But yeah, these are all of my plugs. That's my skimmer plug. Let's chuck the old skimmer on. So I can show you all of the air bowls. I probably shouldn't have shut this really. Oh, right, never mind. Yeah. And yeah, you can see the bubbles. And then they come out. I can't really see them right now. Yeah, you can see them a little bit there. Yeah. And then they go over and end up down in here. And going down here. End up blowing back through into the main tank. But ever since I put them sponges down, it has reduced it by a hell of a lot. So, yeah, I'm still working out uh, the evaporation rate, I've been uh, adding in about a bottle of bar and water every day, haven't really noticed any change about it, a uh, 500ml bottle of bar and water, sorry, uh, so yeah, no. RODI unit is probably what I will end up buying one day, but not just yet, just because uh, aim to get a reactor, which I'll put a uh, carbon and GFO in just to keep all the uh, nuisance algae that I don't want in the main tank. And uh, like to get it all growing in here. I don't really mind what state the fusion is in, I just want it to do what needs to be done, really. Um, if anybody has any advice, or. Oh, there's the. Probably a vertical lever. Nice and soft, that's it. Uh, yeah, got that Monday as well. Got pretty much got everything Monday. Um, yeah, got the heater, pump, skimmer, tank stand for 420. Spent about 200 pound on live rock. Uh, sand was 30 pound. Powerhead was 70. And all the other miscellaneous bits come up to about 50 pounds. Oh, and I bought myself that one of these as well, which is quite cool. Didn't know what I was looking for, but now I do, so it's alright. But uh, yeah, for my first ever reef tank uh, and a sump, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how much the tank changes over the next couple of weeks, and I've got some really good plans for it. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping you guys will 
I don't know how many views I get, maybe if I get any, maybe if I get none, I don't know, this is more, I want to see how the tank does, and if anybody else wants to see how it does, that's fine by me. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching, if you have any questions, let me know, and this has been Dave's Reef, we'll just call it that for now, alright, see you later.